Hello, Virgo. Welcome to my channel. If anyone is tuning in to watch this, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Um, this is just general messages for Virgos out there. Um, take it or leave it. If it doesn't resonate with you, then it's clearly not messages that are made for you, right? Um, I'm going to start off with this is for the month of December, like I said, I think. Um, a Greek Oracle card. Inexperience. So that is your baseline. Maybe you feel like people around you are lacking experience. Or maybe you feel like you, you know, still have a lot to learn, right? Like you're in a learning kind of stage. Or having to teach somebody something it could be very frustrating um you know it's usually sometimes when things happen it's just because we didn't know better right bit off more than you can chew kind of thing um let's clarify uh i'm gonna start with these love wellness island time love cards for those of you that are curious about your love life and i don't know how these messages are going to come out they're either going to be about your love life your finances your work we'll see what it's about it's an experience stabbed in the back heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack Ooh, that's your past love life right let's hope that it's better than that now uh, be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. Okay, so that is better. It's a nice dragonfly. It's not a knife. Nobody wants that. Sadly, most of us have had some heartbreak. Codependent, obsession, possessive, controlling, has a block, restraint. So... Yeah, this person is really having a hard time letting go in this side. Uh, I mean, be lighthearted, finding out things didn't work out the way that you had planned. Either way. All right, the next deck I'm going to pull from is, that would be the Villains Tarot deck. It's Disney Villains. It is like so cool. All right. That is the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is a card of like restlessness, sleepless nights. Some of you might be having problems sleeping. <sighs> some of you might be in some sort of conflict. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty stressful card. It's a card of like basically, wow, I don't know if I can handle any more of this. But you've got the emperor right after it. And the emperor is a real, like, look it. Doesn't he seem just so happy? Right? And he's got control. I mean, the emperor likes to have control over his emotions, over everything. Right? And it's usually a card of trying to reestablish, like, and, and being in your own power, being confident, um, being secure in your environment. And then you have the Three of Swords. That is heartbreak. And we just talked about that. That is sometimes a card of being cheated on, being deceived, being lied to. <coughs> Ooh, I think that candle is a little bit scented and it's causing me to sneeze. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh. You got the Hierophant. So inexperience. I guess like you feel like you were played. You feel like completely stupid. Like you should have known better. You got the Hierophant here. Like you've learned some important freaking lessons from this, right? From whatever went on here. Ooh, the Three of Cups. 
The three of cups can be like a card of like celebration with like family and friends. And same with the Hierophant. The Hierophant can even signify like marriage. But I mean, look it. You know, this is like, I, I've learned my lessons. I, I'm not so stupid anymore. Like, you know, young, dumb and wet behind the ears kind of thing. And here, like, you're celebrating, you know, you're really, really, like, having a good time, um, despite what you went through, your energy is kind of like, well, well, wasn't that a mistake? Oops. <laughs> like, I won't be doing that again, like. That was stupid, you know, so I don't know what happened, but you really feel like you should have known better. You know, and, and you're like a strong, charismatic, fathering, kind of like dominant person. Queen of Cups under the sleepless night. So this queen of cups who obviously couldn't make up their mind about you. And that's the thing about the queen of cups. The queen of cups, like she doesn't really know what she wants. Maybe you didn't even know what you wanted. Maybe you thought that this was what you wanted. Temperance. Yeah, you're really trying to find like that balance in your life. Like, the cups are going back and forth about how you even feel. This person clearly doesn't know how they feel. Um, I'm seeing like this person can be very confusing. They have a hard time controlling their emotions. They're very emotional. Um, oh, and with the three of swords, like you're, you're frustrated. You feel like this is going nowhere nowhere and maybe yeah like you said it wasn't going the way that you expected with the nine of wands you can see that that ship it's like crashing against those rocks boom like hanging like banging your head against a wall trying to talk some sense into this person maybe there's like communication issues maybe you don't want the same things Four of Pentacles. Look at, he's hanging on to those, isn't he? It's not a very giving energy. It's a giving, like it's a person. There could have been a lot of jealousy again with this codependent possession. Like there could have been a lot of jealousy that occurred during this relationship. Like, or where somebody wasn't, it wasn't an equal give and take. And you feel like this person is immature. That is what it is. The inexperience. You feel like you're more mature than this person is. That they're totally immature. Like, like you're like, fine then. Eight of Pentacles. See, you're focusing on your work, your career, yourself here. Building something new. And this is rebuilding. Like maybe this breakup that you went through with this person, you know, was meant to teach you something. And maybe it taught you to focus more on yourself that you don't need anybody else. You know what I mean? And it was frustrating. I mean, I can see you just being completely like emotionally distraught. Um, you know, and maybe it a Affected where you felt really good about yourself and this person made you feel like, you know, maybe you were in love with them, they weren't in love with you. Sadly, and you're like, why? Like, why? And I think that's what it is, is you don't understand why. And maybe this person just felt like they wanted space. Um, they needed time. Maybe you came off as the emperor a little bit pushy with them. And that could have scared them off, you know.
and now you're like, well, you know, I can't help it. You're like feeling a little bit insecure there. Like you weren't feeling very secure. You felt like this person was like out running behind your back. Um, you weren't feeling secure and that's probably where the possession and the jealousy came in. They weren't making you feel good or secure in this relationship. And they seemed like they were all about themselves, the hermit. The hermit is a real like loner kind of energy. Like maybe you went into hermit mode. Um, you know, you decided to just take time for yourself to heal. And maybe that's what this person is, because with the temperance, like that's a real like healing, healing your feelings and your emotions kind of card. This could be you or this could be your person that is in hermit mode presently. The temperance again. Gosh, this is so weird. The temperance is clarified by the temperance. The temperance is just seeking balance. It's seeking, it's, it's trying to feel better. Balance those feelings, the, the emotions, the communication. It's, it can be a real pleasant energy of like, you know what? I guess maybe thinking too positive and then it's like, oh boy, two of wands. Nine of wands is clarified by the two of wands in this deck here and that's your basic like rider weight tarot deck i mean the two of wands is about not dwelling on the past it's about focusing and looking towards the future it's like you know what i know this happened on the in the past it was super hurtful but I'm like moving on I'm taking my energy in a new direction you know two of swords someone is really having a hard time making up their mind and deciding about what they want that's either you or them whoever you were dealing with they don't know what they want But it seems to me like you know what you want. They just don't. They need time. Uh, you feel like you're not seeing things clearly. Like somebody isn't telling you the truth. You got the devil again with this addiction kind of card. There could be an addiction with this new person. Um, or you're just addicted to them. Or they're addicted to you. Like, it's a real codependent. Like, this isn't working. Why are we still doing this? What should we do? Should we just separate? I don't see you waiting around. You're like, screw this. You know what I mean? I'm not going to let you play me. If you don't want to make up your mind, then I will make up your mind for you. You want to be seeing other people. You're not sure about this. Well, then I'm moving on. You know, so I see you here. Three of Cups. Yeah, I see you trying to maybe just focus on yourself again. And having a good time. And getting out of this hermit energy that you've been in. Being a little bit more social. I don't know. I don't know, it just seems to me that this person wasn't giving you what you needed or you weren't giving this person what they needed and that's what ultimately like caused this. Is somebody just maybe needed a little bit more. You know, or they made you feel like you weren't enough for that. And now you've decided that maybe they're not enough for me. You don't want to make up your mind about me. You want to keep on just in and out. You don't want to commit this and that. Then I'm freaking out of here. You're immature. I mean, you're, you're thinking that this person is very immature. They might be a bit younger than you, which is odd. Like, I'm sensing that. But I don't see, like, a... 
what do you call that? Like a, like a knight or a page or anything like that, which is usually like someone younger. I see a queen though. You know, and that's usually about yourself where you're cherishing yourself there. You're like, what do I want? You know, I don't need to make this about them. Maybe you were making everything about them, you know? And then it just blew up in your face. You're like, fuck this, you know? I'm bailing. Well, you've got love coming in. Whether this is new love or the old person coming back could be that with the three of cups. But you got love. And, you know, you're focused on bettering yourself. You're looking to have control back over your life. You don't want somebody controlling what you do. Like, you could have been with someone that was a bit of a control freak, too. Or it's you trying to have control. You know, I, I don't know which one. But there's, like, an addiction there. Like... And that doesn't necessarily mean like somebody's got a drinking or a drug problem, but it's weird with the devil and the addiction card that can signify like feeling like you have lost control. And generally that doesn't always mean it's due to an addiction. It just means like you feel like you're powerless. Maybe you feel like you're powerless against this person, like because this person just sunk the claws in deep and you feel like, whoa. Like, this is too much for me, you know? And you're trying to, like, separate yourself. You're trying to remain in your own element and get your power back. I mean, I think you're, you're, Virgo, you're taking control of your life. Again, where this person made you maybe feel like you had a loss of control. And that can be like, you know, when you do fall in love and it's like, whoa, I have no control over how I'm feeling. And, you know, and and just falling madly, headly, over, head over heels, and then it's going nowhere. Like, this person is not committing. And it's because this person just truly doesn't know what they want. It doesn't mean you're not good enough. It means that they're looks like they're de doing some like deep soul searching but they're leaving you hanging and you want to cut those strings you you want to break away from this person but you're going out in the month of December you're not going to be in this hermit energy you're going to be a lot more social and maybe you're out to meet new people and that's good you know, you're out to meet people. You're not going to sit and wait for this person to make up their mind anymore. You're not. So that's good. And you're focused on your work. You're focused on your own life. You're tired of focusing your energy on this person. Plain and simple. I hope this helped. Uh, Virgo and just good luck to, you know, focusing on your own goals, I think is key in December. And, you know, maybe detaching a little bit of energy from this person that seems to be just wishy-washy and won't make up their mind. And that's what you're doing. You're out of this hermit mode. You're like, I'm not waiting around for you. I got, I got better things to do that, like that, uh, <laughs> that song there. What is it? Is it by Terry Clark? I got better things to do. It's just like that popped into my mind. Like, you know, it's, I, I got I got better things to do than waste my time on you. I got better things to do, you realized. You want to be immature, you don't want to make up your mind, then pff, see you later. Right? And I think it's upsetting to you because you feel like you don't have any control, you know, over how this person is responding to, you know, this relationship. You wish that you did and, you know, that they'd be more invested. And that's what it is. You wish that they would be more invested because you're willing to invest. They just aren't. Like, they, they just aren't. Like, you feel like it's a fucking waste of time. 
you feel like in the long run, they will just meet somebody else and, you know, you're going to end up heartbroken again. It seems like they've done this to you before, too. It seems like they're in and out a lot. I hope that helped. Um, have a great December, Virgo. Bye.